there viewers and welcome back to the self made auto channel it's another quick tip tuesday today we're going to look at the aes wave u test kit now i have used this in probably hundreds of videos and you guys have seen it and we mostly know it as uh you know or the part that i use the majority of it are the banana jack connectors for front probing connectors you know with the scope lots of other stuff that comes in the kit the other thing we use a lot is the fuse loop for the current clamp of course it comes with probes uh you know little you know piercing probe stuff like that i like my pomonas which i hide out over here you guys know these are some of my favorite ones uh, that i use i want to show another aspect of this kit that we don't use that often or at least i don't because i'm not in the body shop uh, business but it is the airbag simulator simulators i guess it would be uh nothing super fancy it comes with a little box of resistors uh, these resistors are unique in the sense they're the ohmage that we need for a lot of airbag systems so they come in a 2 a 2.2 and a 2.7 ohm resistor in the little package and then it also comes with a little donger to put them in so you open this little guy up and it has uh, the correct size female terminals in it to insert the pre-bent resistors that it comes with so you take them out you stick them in here and then you can insert them in place of an airbag or squib i guess it would be uh, or in our case we're substituting these for the value of a pretensioner i've got an 06 grand marquee here it has come in the guy has replaced the steering column in it i don't remember why he replaced it he put a used one in it uh, for whatever reason i don't know i don't know <laughs> uh, what the original story was uh, now he has an airbag light on. Uh, I do not recall the code. We grab the paper here. Uh, so it has a code for the deployable steering column. So this steering column has uh, an explosive device in it, you know, much like a pretensioner on a seat belt that will deploy and automatically collapse the column in the event of an accident. So these are the codes that are in it. The uh, B2984 uh, for this deployable steering column circuit open so how do you test that well I'll show you and I'll show you the benefit of this kit because like I say those resistor values are not common uh, what I've done here I've gone through I've got the codes I went in I looked at uh, the steering column uh, deployable steering column resistance let's take and uh, just pull that up on the screen for you and you can see in scan data right now it's 2.6 ohms and that is because before it was reading 10.7 which i think the scan data interprets as open circuited what i've done is i've gone through and unplugged it's it's i can't even get you on a dash show you this thing's way up on top of the column you'll see the little explosive charge uh, or deployment device well I, my wire just came out so <laughs> there we are at 10.7 the airbag light is back flashing so what i did to prove out this circuit is i used the airbag simulator from the aes wave test kit i put in a 2.7 ohm resistor this column i think they're around three three and a half this is close enough for what we're dealing with i used the front probes these are some hypodermic probes i got from aes wave simply because they fit almost perfectly they're a tad on the loose side stuck it in where the deployment explosive device goes cleared the codes started the car up lights out this 100 percent definitively proves that all the wiring all the connectors everything to the restraint control module on this ford is perfect and indeed the steering column is junk so that's how that works i'll show you again real quick so like i say right now we're open circuited at 10.7 ohms all the dingers are going off in there we probably have the codes back again Wait for this to uh, establish connection. There it is. So there's our codes. Like I say, I'll, I'll put in the simulator. Typically don't front probe with back probes, but like I say, these are almost precisely the right size. Otherwise you take the chance of spreading the terminals. So I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm gonna take, we're gonna clear the codes out of it.
shut the key back off. Let's start the car up. The coach should be cleared out of it now. Technically. No coach detected. And like I say, that 100% no questions asked, asked proves that everything is good except for the steering column. Yes, there could be a pin fitment issue there. It doesn't feel like there is, you know, drag testing them, they feel beautiful. Looking at the connector, it's super clean. So I'll put a link in the description below. I just wanted to show you that aspect of this kit. Because we use a kit all the time, but I don't use that feature a lot. However, when you need it, it's super handy. Thanks for watching.